got a uh, frosty November morning. Hunt one of my favorite stands. Only problem is I got a herd of slightly wild cattle in here this morning. It's bellering and running circles and causing a ruckus. And the bad thing about that is they just put everything on alarm. We we'll wouldn't call it anyway. Let's see what happens. The main problem with these cattle this morning is they are in the way. They got uh, one big semi-tall bull right here on me. Like I said, we're gonna dry it anyway. I think we'll be all right. If they don't all freak out when I get to howling right here. And we're standing all over the call. <laughs> it's something you gotta deal with if you're going coyote hunting. And, uh, cattle country, that's for sure. Fixing to give them some rabbit distress, but I like to give them just a couple minutes after the house and scan your area. It's really good because they will come to those local houses, especially this time of year when you're using those younger coyote houses like we just did. And as you can see, we got uh, even got ponies out here as well. Come on, cows. I don't think those two boys right there are gonna allow me to kill a coyote. I can grab my stuff, go over that next pasture over there and drive. Coyotes here, so we'll get up for this other spot here. I kill coyotes up there quite often too. Here comes a coyote right now. Let's see if we can get him. That how it goes. Just about boogered up that stand. I guess that should be a lesson for myself and everyone watching, I guess. Just because you think a stand is blown up because of cattle or anything related to that, just go ahead and stick it out and call you stand out. This was actually pretty quick. I mean, it was just like the eight or nine minute mark when I decided to get up. I just had enough of those cattle, just thought that uh, wasn't nothing gonna come. And guess what? I didn't get too far from where I was sitting. Right there's a coyote coming right there to, to the call. There's our coyote. 
Oh, pretty coyote. Awesome. <laughs> Got lucky on this stand. If I'd have just called this stand out like I usually do, this would have been a textbook coyote stand. I started out with five young coyote howls that had the cattle and even the ponies stirred up running all over the place. Waited a couple minutes and went in the cagey cottontail. I ran that for about five minutes, I guess, and you know, those ponies ended up coming into the other field and, and circling up behind me. Had two bulls get down in front of me, get to fighting a little bit, and I just had enough. I said, man, I ain't gonna kill nothing here with all this stuff going on, like a circus. So uh, I decided to get up. So I'm gonna go to the other side of this farm and call over there, kill coyotes over there. So I'll go call that. There's no, no st livestock over there at the moment. I gather all my stuff up and I don't go just a few yards from where I was actually sitting at and boom, here comes this coyote right over the ridge over here to the left. Got lucky, the coyote did not see me. He was coming right up there to the call. He was gonna come right to the call if I'd have just sat still. But anyway, I got set up, got down on my sticks, on my Swagger QD42s. Uh, lip squeaked at him a little bit, but I don't even think he heard that. He did turn his head up a little bit, but then he started to go up the other way. He didn't see me. I let out a howl to get him stopped. Give me a good shot opportunity. Coyote down. Thanks for joining us on Tooth and Claw TV.